Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tabletop simulator recorded game of the Batman miniature game. I'm joined by Valinar. Yes, hello. And it's 350 rep of Joker Crew versus illegitimate business. Sorry, I mean legitimate business. Organized crime. Is legitimate business. Called. Yeah, that's what I said. And we're going to be doing scenario four. We'll go over cruises in a second. It's just we're looking at the mission right now. So it's skirmish. We get an eight inch deployment on either side of the map. There and there. Objectives that we've picked follow their normal rules rather than having a specific place. And the bonus objectives are bring me his head. Three victory points to the player if the opponent's boss is knocked out or a casualty when the game ends. And teach mm -hmm. them a lesson. Two victory points to any player if, when the game ends, the combined reputation value of the casualties from the opponent's crew is equal to or more than 50% of its total reputation. So whoever kills the most gets some bonus points as well. I see. And that's all on top of like the normal points for making casualties and also the points for whatever objectives you picked as well. Good to know. I'll cut that to one side for now. That was from the actual rulebook. We're playing on one of the tabletop simulator maps. Someone is pre-made and it's Ace Chemicals themed. Gross. Mm -hmm. So will I go over my crew first? I, I have everything I'm using as a physical card in front of me, which is going to help because on the back they write the special rules and what they do, which is very handy. Quickly find the skirmish deployment. Also just eight inches. It's eight inches yeah. on the long edges, yeah. Right, well, I'll, I'll show chat what I'm using anyway. So the objectives I picked... Ammo box, Riddler, which means two, and loot, which is just one. Being led by the Joker, which is the Arkham Asylum Joker, which I just finished recording a live game with this morning. Uh, he does not have a sidekick. He has a free agent, though, which is Deathstroke, which I've not used yet. And it's the Arkham it's Origins him, yep. Deathstroke. He's expensive. He is very expensive, which is why there's not too many clowns joining. Henchman-wise, Dynamite, which is like a suiciding axe-wielding clown. Uh, Whiteface, he's got a blunderbuss. And then Bogren, or is it Bobgren? I've been calling him Bogren. No, it Borgon, is Borgen. Borgen the Cursed, which is a large lad. And as far as bonus, like, gear, Deathstroke has a grapple. Uh, I've got the little cards here. Bogren has nootropic drugs, so he has fast and dodge. That just means he has, like, extra move and he can do the dodged ranged attacks, even though he's a large lad. And Joker has Nerve Gas, which gives him the sturdy rule, and a rule from the bat box called Why So Serious, which means he doesn't give victory points when he dies. Because he gets the immortal rule. He will still give victory points for the purposes of the mission, though. I see. And I think I, I covered everything. There's probably still some more funding to play with, but I didn't want anything else to keep track of. So where okay. is your... Oh, your people are up here. Wait. No, your people are over here. My leader is uh, Carmine Falcone. It's Carmine. Roman. It's Carmine. Carmine. Yes. Okay. Carmine Falcone. Okay, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And thanks to him, I can take two uh, <laughs> two loot marker instead of just one. Mm, which, so is that Lord of Business objectives. that does that? I think so. Okay. And I can uh, get 500 more funding from the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I have... A lot of cash to play with. Okay. His brother is my sidekick. I thought that was his son. Is that not his son? It might be his son. I think Alberto is his son. Either well, either way, whatever. Okay, his it's brother and or son or both. Yes, his son brother. And that is um, a sidekick, all right. Yep. Then I have the bull. He's just a punching hmm. dude. Oh yeah, he is reinforced gloves. Okay, very cheap. Oh yeah, I bought for from a boss. I bought a Kevlar vest and reinforced gloves, mm -hmm. and uh, Alberto has reinforced gloves as well. Okay. Okay, and the then, bull, this punching dude. Yep, yep. Covered him the, by para. By para. Yep. He's got a silenced gun. I bought him the veteran trait. What does I don't veteran do? What it does? I'll have to look it up. I also don't know what it does. I can look it up while you're going over the next person. At the beginning of its activation, this model can reallocate two action counters on his character card. Oh yeah, that, that's what it was. I just bought it because I had the cash left over. <clears throat> and then there's my free agent, it's Damien Dark. I have no idea who this is. I think he's one of the Yaros villains. Is he a magic user? Do you have the magic rulebook? Because I don't. Nope, I'm just skipping him oh, all he's... the magic related stuff. Okay, because he is he's a magic user. He is. Okay. 
So mm -hmm. no necromancy or magical power for him. Yeah. The rest is good, good. enough. Okay, and then... It's, it's basically Gambit. He, he throws cards at people. Okay. And then I have Batista. Agent 47. Yep. That, that's just shotgun. straight up is Agent 47. You don't say. Hmm. Uh, then I have Malatesta. He's, he's a... That is Hitler. <laughs> yes. It looks like the guy who plays Penguin in Gotham. No offense and to him calling him Taylor. Hitler, but still. The Taylor, I've seen him in battle reports. Oh, it says oh, yeah, Monster and, 3 in his uh, card. Batista has the bodyguard and the veteran trade. Okay, so we know what veteran does. Bodyguard is like, he can take a hit for the person he's standing next to, right? Yes, for like Get them, Mr. President. or sidekicks. Mm. And your objectives? Uh, ammo Two. and loot. You have to take three objectives. I have taken three objectives. But, alright, oh so it doesn't double up for free, you can just... Nope. Okay. You can only, normally you can only take like one of each mm -hmm. type of objective, but I can take two loot if I want to. Okay. But I did. So I guess we can like just quickly roll off to see who starts placing objectives first. We'll do it that way and then we'll deploy. We'll just take the sides we're on. Alright. Two. One. You will be deploying your objective first then. So, if you need me to check the rules for how a specific objective needs to be placed, tell me, because I have it here. Uh, I mean, I can I have the rule book here as well. Yeah, you have it digitally, though. I have it physical. You can hear the pages turning. There, I'm on the page. Which one are you wanting? Look. Yeah. Eight inches away from the enemy deployment zone on neutral ground. So, my deployment zone is eight inches in, so I could mark that if you want me to. Like that's eight inches in. So just so you have to, except you have to be within you. eight inches of my deployment zone. Does it really have to be that close? Yeah, that's the whole point. You have you're supposed to come and get your objectives. So up to the inch line, you have to be within eight, no further away than eight. Look, Eddie. No, that's. That's yeah, that's my deployment, and then you can be up to eight, so that is eight, so you're fine. Yep. I'm okay with that. Uh, I was, I was overhead, and it was 7.9. It looked right to me. I don't think you're too far back. Eight there. That should be fine. All right. Straight. Straight line from you know, from the start, 16. I guess I will place yep. my loot as well then. Uh, let's see, where is 8 for you? Or 16, I guess, yeah. It would yeah, be so. 16. Uh, we'll put it right there then. Alright. Next loot type for you, loot again, so we don't need to look it up. Or, I mean, you can place them yep. in whatever order you like, but... All right, so 16 would be like next to that red barrel, yeah. If you want it the maximum distance away. All right, my next one is Riddler objectives. So they are, they're taken in pairs, must be deployed at the same time and up to eight inches away from enemy deployment on neutral ground, same row. So they have to be placed simultaneously. I don't need to make them like the maximum distance away. I'll put one there. And I know I can't put it up there. I'm just turning the, the map a little bit to have a little look around. I think it has to be at least three in from the, the side. At least two away from the border edge. Ah, two. Okay, that's fine. That's 2.2. Or, or any other object. All right, so your last one is a uh, ammo crate. Yep, it doesn't say specifically what it, where it has to be placed, so I'm going by the normal objective rules, which is two away from the border, port edge, or any other marker, and further than four away from my personal deployment area. Alright, so as long as it's 4.1 away from your deployment, it's fine. Yeah, so yeah that's like weird. Yeah, it doesn't BMK. specifically say for that one. Yeah, so it must just use the generic. About there would be okay. That would be 10.5, so that's fine, yeah. Where my pinky is. There ish. Okay. Should be fine. And then my ammo box, then. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, kind of measure up the 10 roughly in this. That would be like there-ish, a bit further. There. I need a bit further. <laughs> there. there you go. Alright, um, your turn, I guess, to start with. I'll let you choose if you want to do sewer markers first or lamps first. I think maybe the rule book specifies, but I don't care. You can pick whichever. Uh, three of each, or...? Three of each, yeah. No, no, I've got mine out already, you don't need to get mine. I was just checking if there were more than, like... Oh, they're stacked, that's why they didn't They are. Like that. Sewer gratings aren't, like, the thickness of a house. Okay, uh, let's start with lamps. I love lamps. Uh, I don't think they can be within eight inches of each other or something similar to that. Lamp posts. Three lamp posts. Eight inches away from another lamp post and no closer than two inches to the board edge, and they illuminate in a range of four inches around themselves. And anyone who's illuminated ignores the the shooting rules for twelve inches. Because it's That's meant to be not gonna come into play, I think. Oh wait. I think that the Joker can shoot luck. The, uh, the Joker has him. grenades. Well, he has a one-use gun that I totally forgot he had for the battle report I recorded, for the record, but... Yeah, he does have a one-shot gun hidden in his pants. I also only have medium range. How far is medium range? Medium range... Oh, actually, I think that is 12. Maybe I'm saying the wrong thing. It's 18 they can see. I keep forgetting. Short range is 8 or 9. Short range is 8. That, hmm. that one I know. He just... Medium range, uh, 16. Ah, okay. Okay. I guess I shall place a lamp. Mm -hmm. F lamp. Okay. I will like place a lamp there. Put this fall over. Oh. oh. Good. I will put a lamp hmm. there. Alright, dogs. Let's quickly see. There's some ammo box. There's some loot. <coughs> there's some loot. There's some loot. There's some loot. There's a lot of loot in this map. Yep. It's a little yeah, it's busy a because of the smoke in the middle. Yeah, that, that smoke is kind of annoying. But it's atmospheric, though. Is it, though? Uh, that might be too close to that one. How far do they need to be away from? Eight inches. That's seven point three currently. Okay. Yep. Like there is eight. You can bring it back a bit closer if you want to. It's like eight point four where my cursor currently is. Uh, bring it back down here. Seven point six. Eight is like there. That's eight point one. Yeah, there would be fine. Do they need to be away from any other markers, or can they just nope. be anywhere? No, as long as they're at least eight inches away from themselves. Um, I think that's that's all. That. One nope. more for me, more. which I will place okay. there, assuming that that's two inches away and eight inches from that other one. Yep, and yep. I think all the lamps are legal. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Your first sir grating then? Hmm. Sir gratings, how far do they have to be apart? Uh, doesn't say, I think we're not limited. Sewer. What does it say? <clears throat> it doesn't say. Because they have to be used as air vents as well. So you place that one there, okay. I will place one... Four inches away from any other sewer marker, no closer than two inches from the edge of the board. Okay. It's weird, I don't see that on the sewer. Oh, that's, I'm looking at the bit for entering them, not placing them, that's why. I will place... there. Okay, okay. I will place <clears throat> here. 
And I will place... Hmm. Right there. Six. Yep, that's right. Okay, now we need to just deploy our units. So we have up to, was it four inches or it was eight inches? Let me just get an idea for how far how that do, is. Do we it, just take turns or do we do the, the, the actual rules for them? Um, I was just going to deploy. I, I'm not really paying attention to what you're doing because it's... It's more important the order in which they activate, I feel. So kind of like up to the line there is eight. Okay, good to know. Okay then. Eight. Oops. Should go a bit further. I mean, I can't head up. Because <laughs> then he wouldn't be eight. Oh, he is an eight. I was looking at the wrong marker, that's why. I still want him there, though. I was looking at the objective marker, and I was just kind of looking at the the circle, not the picture on it. Okay, so we're gonna go eight inches in here. What are you typing? Just looking up a rule. Okay. Come on, let's do this guy. This guy. Let's get Mr. Dynamite over. Deathstroke is such a silly name. They kill countless people. Hmm. And then finally, Whiteface. Whiteface is gonna go like there. That's a lamp there, though. Eh. You make do. It's only two. What was the limit on ammo crates away from deployment zone? Was it two inches? Uh, I don't think. I think it was four. Because if it was four, four, then that one can't be there. I'm going to double check it was an eight inch deployment and not a four inch. Yeah, no, it was I think eight it was inch. Four. No, it was eight. Skirmish. Okay, then it needs to be. Oh, of course, we measured that wrong. It needs to be two further in. Well, just. Well, that should be enough there, right? Any other objectives that aren't obeying the laws? Is this objective ammo one okay? Nope, it needs to be two inches further back. Okay, right there. There ish. Okay, well, I have placed my people. I'm still in, I'm still planning where I want to go. You're putting way more thought into it than I am. That's a mistake. Our blood and stuns, and these are our used for rolling and marking. Okay. I am ready. What are you doing? You're putting a bunch of them together there, including your leader. 
We've got two more over here. Agent 47. No, the magic dude and the sun. Where's, uh... Are you missing one? Uh, one of them is out here because he has a special rule. He's undercover. Oh, uh, Deathstroke has that, but I haven't activated it yet. So I guess I will we as well since planets, you're doing that. Yeah. Right? Yes, it's supposed to be. But I guess if we Man are basically done then. Before the deployment, I get to like put it eight inches out if I want to. Undercover. After placing objectives, this model may deploy up to eight inches away from deployment, but no closer than four inches from an objective. Yes, that's what I did. Just gonna make sure he has undercover. Yes, he does. So in that case, he will not start oh. this building. Then he'll start. Sixteen. Kind of like. There. Going for the cheeky loot grab. Maybe. I don't think anyone else has undercover. I mm, think no. that's it, unless this room does start as well. Nope, that's not the, the right one. Okay, grab three of your colored dice to put in the initiative bag then. Your green dice over on the table on your left. Let me shake this. And you can draw. So you're getting first activation. Yes. And you get to pass like three times if you want to. I have five people, you have seven? Eight. Jesus. Okay, good. But first. These dice are slightly too big for these cards, annoyingly. <laughs> Welp. Eh, I can shrink them, I suppose. Oops, don't take the victory point thing. I'll use them for rolling. Okay. I'll shrink these. So now we're raising the plan to determine where we're putting our willpower. There's a lot of willpower. Leaders usually have like eight. Put them on something that itself was grabbable. <sighs> Look at these skills again. There. That was easy. Still do with shrinking them a little bit, but still. Okay, that's uh, five. Three more, okay. Where did I put him? He is there. Do that. Okay, this guy. Add up something fierce. Do I need to crouch? Was it movement or was it special? I don't remember. Alright, I have distinguished my first turn. Crouching is special. Hmm. Actually, in that case, then let me just do that.
Okay, two more on this guy. Okay. You have no idea what those dice mean? That's how many points I'm putting into each stat. Thank you, Sias, for a three-month streak with a tier one sub. Just passing by to say thanks for the great content. You're very welcome. Oh god, you've only done three cards? It's it's a bit complicated. Yeah, yeah. I should have chosen bigger units. Don't worry, I'll just resize my dice. Wow. He didn't even bring the ventriloquist. He's the leader. Oh yeah, he is, isn't he? So you can't yeah see anyone. Rats. I know the dice aren't all equal size now, but whatever. Pardon me. Hmm. Let's just do a little bit of that. More dice. Okay, this guy. Yeah. Notepad and pen to keep track of victory points. Do you, or will I open up Notepad? Uh, we have counters. Oh, that's right, we do. Never mind. Only problem with that is though it doesn't distinguish what we got points for what. We have to remember what we got points for what. Hmm. And we will have a record. Yeah, true. In case it gets dis disputed. Okay, I'm almost done. Good, good. Okay, finally. <laughs> well, you're activating first, so you have to pick. Okay, in that case, my para <laughs> activates. Okay. That's this guy out here. Mm hmm. But is, is that a one handed shotgun, son of shotgun, or something he's got, or is that uh, a ball? Silence pistol. Oh, right, yeah, that guy. Okay. Okay, he moves his. Four inches up mm -hmm. towards the the loot. Yeah. Spends one movement thingy. To pick and it up. And picks up the loot. Okay. I'm gonna put it over here on put his card. So yeah. I know. Okay. To know that he's holding Which on one to. Is it. He? This guy. This guy. He, he's got it. Yep. He's spending one special to crouch. Mm hmm. And. That's all he can do. Do I have Crouch Marcus somewhere? Might do in that little bag I brought over. Hang on. Let's do a little search. Ah, here they are. I, I, yeah, I there's, think it's a shield. These might come in handy. Yeah, okay. Although he probably won't get shot at. Hmm. For my first activation, I am going to pass. Okay. Hmm. Alberto moves up. Mm -hmm. so Favorite son. One movement. Yeah. Next to here. Thank you, Lurking Residential, for 20 months total with a tier two sub. Where is she, Rachel? <laughs> I hate Christian Bale Batman so much. <laughs> um. 
Heath Ledger, great Devil Joker, Christ. just terrible Batman. Good Scarecrow as well, but terrible Bane. Anyway, sorry, what were you doing with the rest of this turn? I think I'll activate the ammo crate. Okay, so he has a bonus magazine for whatever gun it is that he has. A hidden weapon. It's a derringer that comes out his wrist if he flicks it just right. Yep. Okay. That's him done then. Alright. I need to reduce his movement and his gun. Oh yeah, I'm crouching as well, sorry. Mm. Well, I am also going to pass again, so it's your activation. I am not allowed to pass three times in a row though. Two is the maximum you can do. In a row. I, yep. I do still have other passes. It's the negative to having so many bodies on the field. Yep. Leaves you open for the let's go rule, though. I never really use that. Pass all much. the time. Also, oh, we never use strategies for this one. I haven't used them in my live recordings yet either. Just another oh, yeah, layer of complexity. Was a, was a thing. I forgot yeah. about those. It's I didn't even prepare any. Like so third fine. or fourth thing you've got to do when you start the game. I say, oh, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna activate Damien Dark. Mm hmm. This lamp posts. Okay, I need to get over there. Four plus the two movement counters gets him there. Does passing over an objective count is difficult terrain, or whatever it's the equivalent of that is called in this? The ammo box is less than an inch high, so it shouldn't. Alright. I think it's less than the rules, yeah. Volume height of half an inch, so it's it's not not difficult terrain. Okay. Um, do I crouch for the heck of it? Because I can. Yes. <clears throat> yes, I do. Okay, I will activate the Joker then. And I will do four, five, six, seven, eight movement tall. So eight could get me right up to the edge of the building. You need to be against scenery to crouch, right? No, you can can just crouch, I think. Okay, well, if we're playing that, then I will go right to the edge, I guess. Quickly look it up for you. And just move in contact with an obstacle more than... Oh, actually, the building's got behind. a little rim, so you know what? You can crouch behind that. So he used up his movement. And he is going to throw explosive teeth at Alberto Farconi. Over yonder. Okay. So it's medium range, so he's well within. It only hits once anyway, so it doesn't matter that he's moved. It's explosive. So I have to roll to hit with the... It's also a firearm explosive. I have to roll to hit. If it hits, then it's a two-inch blast explosion around him. So it will catch the magic dude as well. So the hit for this... I did this in the game today as well, and I've already forgotten. And if you go to the explosive section... Explosives! Roll to hit the initial target as normal. And then it does the explosion. Okay. So the normal... Uh, let's see. I've got a... Well, hang on. Which one of those two has the worst defense? You already declared your shot. That's not what I asked. Does he have uh, a higher defense? Three, oh, that's fine. No, that's fine. Two and four. Wait, the magic dude has two? Uh, nope. The, the, the oh, well, no, the, 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 the other, the other guy isn't still. relevant. It's not going to reach him. Okay, so it hit. So it explodes around Falcone and hits both of them. Have to individually roll for each of them now. And it's firearm, so it's two plus. Oh, we don't have a, a critical dice. I guess we can just Take use one of, one of the... my white dice. Oh, yeah, that would do. Okay, so against Falcone himself, it is a hit, but no special bonus. The other magic dude, a hit with no magic bonus at all. So it does, it's on his card, one blood and one stun to each of them. Unless right. they have something that negates blood damage. Like, uh, uh, I, think, doesn't, I think it counts as a firearm, so if they have bulletproof vest that reduces by one, I think. Not sure with all these rules yet. Give me a second. 
look at his card and try and help you. Uh... Wow, spoilers! What? It what are the spoilers? It spoils that he's the holiday killer. Hmm. <clears throat> Although he's only one of the holiday killers. Self-discipline. Oh, he's immoral as well, so he doesn't get points. From killing him, yeah. yeah. Knockout works. Knockout does work, yes. Alright, well, if you have nothing, then one blood, one stun each. I would get one plus one defense because I'm crouched. I think that's Against all. Against explosions, I don't think that applies, because the explosion is for the you. For the hit roll, because it's a firearm. I think the explosive negates that. I shall Let's have a look. look it up. Explosive. All models totally or partially under the template will receive one automatic hit with no further ping rolls allowed. Make a damage roll for each model affected, and they may suffer additional effects in the exact same as other things, for yeah. example, crit freeze. Explosion templates mm -hmm. do not pass through solid objects like walls, but don't worry about small objects, and they have a, a depth of two inches. For like multiple levels. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think I'm, I'm taking the damage. It's not very much. And that was one of the two explosive teeth he carries. He will then spend a special to crouch, and that's his activation done. Oh, I don't have a marker for that. Oh well, yeah. Crouch. Hmm. No, this this doesn't count. Yep. Okay. Whoop. Apparently this building has two states, but I don't want to touch it to see what that does. <clears throat> so, whom are you activating next? Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. Also, you can't appear from the sort of grating that Borgen is next to because he's a large model, so you'd need a large, a huge model to push him out of the way. Sure. Yep. Yep. Hmm. You can pass one more time. I yeah. can, yes. Quickly look up this. Oh, sorry. What are you looking up? I might know. That's a big yawn for such a small dog. In that case, I'm activating the tailor. Which is the guy with the mohawk type thing? Mm hmm. Okay. Just doing a normal four? Yep. And I'm using the let's go rule mm -hmm. thingy. So that means you do a roll, right? Yes. Yes. When a friendly henchman enters activation, roll a dice on a four plus. You may immediately activate this model. Uh, yeah, this model who has not yet been activated this round. It means a model, presumably, because this model makes no damn sense. Yes. This model I'm activates. I'm to use that. Yeah. Use on... that rule to activate Batista over here as okay. well. Okay. Yeah. Just because I can. Subsequent let's goes have a minus one penalty. Although a result of a six is always a success. I have a six. Okay. There. Alright, so you're not doing a, another fall. Oh no, he's not a, a henchman, so you can't. Alright, uh, I will... The only person you've got left to move is Falcone, right? Nope, I got two more. Oh, here. hello. It's no wonder you've got so many people. In that case, I'll use my pass. Okay. <clears throat> and I... Do I crouch him? Yeah, I'll crouch him. 
Okay, so that was Falcone moved up and crouched. I guess I will move Mr. Dynamite. So he has two movement counters, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. That is more than enough to get him claiming my ammo crate. By which I mean your ammo crate. Mm -hmm. He did not put one in special though, so he is not crouching, he is just standing. So, your activation. Okay. Should I put there? Okay, two each. No, oh, I just got the faithful achievement for tabletop sim. I think I just hit hour fifty. Nice. Did I put points in defense before I do something stupid here? Uh, mm. Let's just do this instead. You're going after my riddle icon. Yes. That needs one special and one normal to activate, I think? Or was that something else? Mm, let's double check. No, it's just you manipulate it as normal. It's just you have to roll on the table if you choose to solve it. And since it's not your objective, it's a minus one on the result. So you can yes. never get the inspired solution. Which of my guys was it? Oh, the was... Hitler. Wow, rude. Uh, yep, that's his movement dice gun. Is he uh, activating the riddle? Yes. How dare you. Where did that Touching another man's go? riddle. Uh, I don't remember touching it after I rolled it. So that would be a, a three, three, which equals failure, the model gives up, nothing happens. But the riddle is still gone. I think so. Actually, I've been playing it that they disappear, but hang on, maybe they don't. It says in the text, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm reading now. Oh, yeah, regardless, regardless of whether, whether or yeah. not yeah. the role is successful, the real marker yeah. is removed from play. It is gone. Rip. Rip and Didi. Yep, your horror uh, activation. I think. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hmm, I'm thinking. Activate white face. Four or five is six enough to get into that loot. No. And he wouldn't have any movement left? Well, I, no, I, I was counting as if I'd only used one, even though I pulled two off. Ah, oh, I see. But no, he does need that all, so he's not going to grab the loot. He's going to move there. He's going to crouch. And then leave him with two in defense, which you can't do anything with. Alright, your activation. Okay. Oh, right, crouch icon. Okay, yep, I move this guy up here. Mm hmm. The bull. Does he do anything else? Okay. Well, I only have Deathstroke left. So he has... Oh, wait, no, I've got Borgrin, actually. Never mind. I'll still do Deathstroke, though. So he's got a basic movement of four. Mm -hmm. And then five, six. So he would need eight to get to the other side of the stair. His weapon has reached, though, so as long as he's within two inches. uses the bow staff, not the sword. Yes. Okay, but he would have to use all his movement. Go. Oh, actually, he had three in movement. So hang on, that was four, five, six, seven, eight to get there. So no, he still has one in movement left. Okay. He is a fast lad. And he will use the reinforced bow to smack the only one he can reach, which is the bull with his two attacks, two in attack, and he has combo reinforced bow, so for every two attacks he gets a third one generated, so he's hitting with three. What is okay. the bull's defense? The bull has a defense of two. What? 
Really? Yes. All right. Well, he is a henchman, I suppose. Well, that's definitely three hits. Are you using defense dice? Yes. Okay, so for defense dice, you have to roll over... Is it my strength? I always forget for the bloody defense dice. Same. <clears throat> defense. Not dodging. Blocking. If the result is equal to or higher than the attacking model's attack value, not strength, attack value. So you have to roll higher than Deathstroke's attack value, which, which is, is five. five. He is a strong lad. Oh, you only use one oh. defense dice? I only have one. Ah, alright, so those three hits go through. Where, I need your white dice for the collateral, which I'm just going to borrow. So then it's against Deathstroke Strength, which presumably is three or four. Three. So he does get a match on the collateral. Knocked that's, down, yep. That's a miss. So you're knocked down and you take two hits from the bow, which is four stun. Which is four stun damage. Oh, hang on. Well, hang on. Handy is reroll hit chances, not um, damage. Yeah. So that was relevant because they were all hits. Four stun. Four stun and, and knocked down. down. How much health does the bull have? Five. Ah. Where is knocked down? There it is. No, that's knocked out, but I'm gonna need that soon. So you have no one left to go, so it's just me moving Borg Borgrin the Cursed, right? I think so, yes. Okay, um... How brave is Borgrin feeling? <laughs> Let's see... Borgren is going to travel via the sewer, and he's going to pop up there, and we'll see what happens next turn. Where did you pop him up? Okay, right there. there. We'll see if Tanky it... Lad lives up to his... I guess he'll spend a point to crouch as well, even though it might not matter, because he just has it and he's going to lose it anyway. Uh, he doesn't have anything in attack, and he can't move because he went through... Actually, no, he can't crouch because you're not allowed to do anything when you come out of the sewer. Goodbye, Tank. Alright, that's the end of the first round uh, in terms of like victory okay. points generated. First, the recovery phase. Oh, right, yeah, so stuns. Okay, uh. Knocked. It's a 4 plus oh. to get one stun back. Knocked down, you just stand up by spending a marker of any type on your next activation. If you want to wake up from being knocked out, it's an endurance roll, which is getting under your HP on two dice. I see. <clears throat> okay, I have. Okay, who took damage? You need a stun marker on Alberto, a stun marker on Damien, and then a stun marker on the bull. So it's four pluses okay. for each. You don't need to do them separately. Can try it twice. Oh, can he? Because right. I still have a special point left. I can spend that special point to get a, ne a second chance. <laughs> is that anything? Can anyone do that, or is that just something yes. he has? That, I didn't that's know what that. anyone can do. I didn't know that. Okay, so he gets... Okay, that's the stun damage. Yeah, Go the, on. the bleed is From there him. forever, though. Yep, the bleed is still there unless... Nope, no one has medical supplies, so... Yep. Nope. The that's medical supplies don't now. actually heal, either. I they thought they don't. did. They don't. That's... No, it gives you a different drug that does yep. different thing. Probably... Ah, yeah. uh, yes, of course, you get morphine, which gets you the sturdy rule, I think. Uh -huh. And he gets two tries as well, because he still has a special point left. Okay. No, they don't heal, they just give you sturdy, which means you lose less of your dice, depending on how injured you are. Three. Okay. I have no stun markers to do. Uh, now the victory points. Victory points. Uh, you are holding... I am holding a one loot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one and loot and your ammo. An, yes, so four victory points. Mm -hmm. And I am holding just the ammo. Or three. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two... Three. I didn't kill anybody, so there's nothing there. Alright, so now we see who is going next. I'm going to shuffle the bag again, and then you can draw from it. I'm going first next Ooh. activation. Alright, so plan your turn accordingly. Yes. Uh... Hmm. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yep, that's gonna stay that way. Sure, let's try that. Well, I said, no, let's try that. You're fine as you are. Where are you stuck? You're stuck there. So let's do that for you. Well, no, let's do that for you. That. Then you. Rules, but that's fine. I've forgotten where he is. Oh, he's there. Two, five, seven. Hmm. Yes, he'll just... He'll do that. Okay, I am prepared. Okay. Six on this guy, okay. Two. a lot less fiddly in real life. Yeah, it's, it's much easier to handle on the cards. And I'm going to check something about your equipment. Okay, just checking. It's fine. Almost there. Why do I have it segmented? Like, oh, because they're in the little teams on the map. Yes. Oh, you're strange. <laughs> <laughs> why am I strange? I don't know why you are, but you are. Wow, rude. Okay, and these guys. Uh. <clears throat> Actually, that's interesting. Oh, that's fine. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, for my first activation, I will obviously activate Borgrin the Cursed. Who yes. just uses natural movement to plod on over to Damien Dark. Yes. And he's going to swing at him. So in terms of things that are relevant, he's using an axe. Uh, he has sturdy for when he gets hit back, but it's heavy and handy. The two H's, heavy handy. So, uh, let's see, those are both at the back, presumably. Heavy just means he has plus one strength, handy means he can reroll failed hits. So what is Damien Dark's defense again? It was three, right? Four. Four. Okay, so four attacks hitting on fours. Get this over here, get that out of the way. So re-rolling failed hits. Which is just as well, because he only got one. Don't roll off the tail. Alright, so you have three, three to use defense dice against. And you do it against his attack, which is four. So 50-50 chance to negate. Use three defense dice. Negated two of them. So one gets through. Yep. And then his strength is... Only four plus for such a large land. He's, he's big, not strong. All right, and he got a critical on the crit dice, so that's an extra stun. So that is... Two bleed, one stun. Oof. Yep. Oh, well, actually, no, he was strength three plus, wasn't he? Because I just said that. He had plus one strength from being heavy. But either way, it was the one attack roll anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Applied it, three blood, one stun. He has how much HP? Seven. He's quite tanky as well. All right, your yep. activation. 
I activate him, obviously. Okay. I presume he's smacking back. Okay. What do I do? Your crouch disappears because the new turn, right? Or, well, once you yes. activate on a new turn, yeah. Actually, is it when the turn ends, or do you still have the effect until you... It's once you do something. Once you do an activation again, okay. Not a yes. turn. That makes more sense, yeah. Hmm. You can hit and run, or run and hit. Like you I can, can move and then shoot. Yeah. That's what I'm doing, this, this crouch marker is in my way. I'm shooting the Joker. Okay. Twice. Uh, you moved though. It's throwing weapons. Ah, don't get right. affected by that. Oh, that's funny, it's 52 bullets because he's throwing cards. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's the fun part. Alright. Well, you're rolling to hit then against my defense. Joker's defense is four. So that'd be one then. And I think he has a special rule for that. To reroll? Nope, not that. Never Master mind, that's, that's one then, I think. So, do I get ping roll on top of using defense dice, or do I have to choose between the two? Because uh, the ping roll is what, a 5+, plus, whereas I'm crouched, does that make it a 4+, plus? I think the ping roll would be if it's larger than half an inch, wouldn't it be? I crouched though, so he's half the size he currently is. Yes, but that's just plus one de defense against ranged attacks. That's what crouching does. No, oh, sorry. So you hit with one, I better get plus one to my defense rolls. And defense rolls are against your attack, which is... Four. Uh... So I will use two of Joker's defense dice to attempt to get... Four pluses, but it's plus one because I'm crouched, right? That makes sense? Yes. So I only need to get one, and I got one. He still has two defense dice left. Yes. <clears throat> oh wait, but do they do just a scratch? I mean, uh, there are firearms. No wait, there aren't firearms. They're no, throwing. they're not firearms. I don't know if throwing gets the just a scratch. Just I think it's only ballistics. Scratch. Let me quickly look at the just uh. a scratch rule. Each time you take a damage roll as part of a ranged attack. One stun marker. Okay, but you didn't roll a damage roll because you... Oh, wait, no, you did, didn't you? No, you rolled a hit, yes, yeah? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you blocked yeah, it. I blocked, blocked it, so, it, so then you would have rolled the damage, but because I blocked it, you don't, so it doesn't happen. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, so that's his activation. He moved, he did the thing. Yes. Okay, I will activate Joker, and he'll throw his explosive teeth at the two you've put nicely close together again, I guess. So it doesn't really matter which one he hits, um, I'll, I'll hit whatever one I hit last time because it was the better chance, right? Yes. Uh, that was the Holiday Killer. Yes. Don't, you don't say the spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed. So I guess it just okay, doesn't explode. Alright, your turn. Oh wait, no, hang on, I can move. <laughs> um, do I want to move? Uh, yes, it is. I guess I'll spend a special to put the crouch mm -hmm. back. Okay. And then still stand there, because I'll probably end up trying the one-shot gun next time. Okay. But now it's your activation. Okay. Which means I'll need his card. If it happens, so move that card over here. So I can read the rules precisely. Okay. I'm firing my hidden weapon from Alberto. Mm hmm. The one who must not be named. Yeah. And the Joker. Mm hmm. That would be three shots. Yep. Firearms. Oh, well, he still gets to fire too if he moves. Yes. Silencer means I wouldn't be able to use defense dice if I didn't see you, I think. I don't know, maybe it just means I can't. Yeah. Let's 
just take a look at the rules. Uh, I think it means I just uh, can't. No dodging. Yeah. Oh wait, no dodging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your defense was four, I believe it was. Four. Yeah. All the leaders tend to have like four, except Batman because he's Batman. Okay, two. Do I have any? Let me just quickly sync. Wait. Oh, you know, yeah, that wasn't a firearm, because you can't just take normal defense against fire or firearms, but the throwing cards weren't firearms. Yes. You have to take ping rolls against gunshots. But if the crouch is just plus one defense, that means I can't block against the gun if you're saying that it's not hide behindable. Uh, you can crouch, I think, and you can use block dice, but you can't use dodge dice, so... Well, okay, well, I did crouch, so I guess I'll use my two block dice. So I have to yes. beat your attack value. Which is a three, so it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, did it. I don't know if we're doing that right, though, because I thought you couldn't use defense dice against gunshots. I thought you had to dodge or use ping rolls. <sighs> These rules are complicated. They are, yeah. Ranged attacks. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about blocking. Yeah. And once you've determined the number of attack dice. Roll all the attacks directed on the same target, applying any hit roll modifiers that may be incurred. Any result equal to or higher than the target's defense is a successful hit. Also, I would have to roll fives because you're crouched. Oh, did you roll fives? So maybe this is all irrelevant anyway. I, I, I think I had a six there. Hmm. Ping rolls are taken after a successful hit. Roll 1d6, yes. <clears throat> I think we, we did that wrong there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fairly sure you can't use damage uh, defense dice against ranged attacks. I just I can't find the specific bit that says that. Which is annoying. Yes. Anyone in chat help? Uh, I think G Font isn't here, and he's the only one who's played the game besides us. I think. Hmm. Yeah, blocking is, you know, can only find blocking in in relation to close combat, not anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, it specifically says if a model is hitting you in close combat, you can defend. So yeah, it shouldn't have been defendable, but I do argue that I should get ping rolls. I don't remember if I rolled any fives. Oh wait, I rolled a six and a three, so one got through. Okay. So that would be bleed and stun. Yes. Did you roll a collateral die? Did that get anything? I didn't roll a collateral die. Next time. All right. So one bleed, one stun. Yes. Okay. One bleed. One stun. Oop. One stun. So my activation then. Um, mm hmm. I will activate. I will activate Deathstroke. Okay. He is going to. Well, the bull is knocked down still, right? Because you haven't done his activation to stand up. Yes. So he's just going to plop next to Hitler. Mm -hmm. And let me just decide what weapon he's going to use. Um. 
Let's just use his sword since I'm point blank. He doesn't have combo sword though. But I did put four attack dice in, so he's getting four attacks with his sword. It has the sharp roll, which I believe is reroll failed wounds. Unless you have like a hockey gear, I think, counters it. So, I, so no. I am rolling against your defense first for my hits. What is Hitler's defense? Three. No, the correct answer was Hitler had no defense. Whoa, that dice has gone off the table. Oh no, I picked them all up. What are the results in the other ones before I pick this one up? Six, four, and the one. Okay, so two hit. And then I'll just, I'll drop these and roll one more. Okay, so that was three hits. Yes. And then I have to roll... I get a block dice. Oh yeah, sorry, first block dice, yeah. So you're looking to... Well, you beat one for sure. Six. Yeah. So two. Two get through. Two get through, and Slade's strength is three plus. And we roll fails. For sharp. Oof, that is... So that is four blood plus one stun. We have our first kill. Isn't it a knockout? Or does he have only four HP? Four HP. Hitler only had four HP. Will I just add on the points now, or will we wait till the end of the, act, the full turn? He's a goon, so you get one for the knockout and another and one for one the one kill. More. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do the objectives at the end of a turn, but if like knockouts and casualties, yes. we'll do it at the time. Okay, that's fair. Yes. In that case, I should add up the. Oh wait, no, he's knocked down. Yes, he's not knocked out. Okay, your activation. see some like bits of pepper in this or something. Nice. What's that rule called? Come on. <laughs> what rule are you thinking of? I'll tr maybe I know it. The one the leader gets for free. Or being inspire. The of your crew. Inspire. Yes. Inspire. That's the one. I keep forgetting about that rule as well. It gives like a, a movement counter to everybody in a bubble around him, I think. Something like that. Gain one free additional action counter and mm -hmm. you can put it wherever you want. Movement, attack, defense or special. And what bubble around him is it? Because it's not map wide. Uh, four inches. Four inches. So that is Falcone Senior. Okay, so yes. he spends a counter of whatever variety it is. Special, one special counter, and then and he's giving it to Batista, increasing his attack to four. Isn't it everybody? So it would be like... No, the... just one guy. Oh, okay. No, I thought Inspire was... No, wait, all no, friendly. No, it is all friendlies, yeah. I've seen people buff like a bunch of people at once. So Mohawk Man has plus one counter to something as well. Hmm. Can he make that... No. Yes, you can. I'm giving him one more movement. That, that, that works. Are you allowed to go works above somebody's maximum in a particular I think category? think so. It would specifically say if you're allowed to because there's skills at city. This may take the number of assigned action counters above a henchman's normal maximum. Okay, fair enough. And I'm moving Falcona. Mm-hmm. To the riddle. You've touched both my riddles. And I'm touching the riddle. So you're solving it, okay? Get the. What'd you four. Roll? You rolled a four, so it becomes a three. Nothing. <laughs> my poor no, riddles. I a five. It's a, it's, oh. a, it's a four. Okay, hang All on. Together. Uh, that would be a two victory points. You solved it. Nice. Uh, one and a two. It's mine now. <laughs> That's my riddle. Your activation. You did the big guy, you did Joker. I've done that. I've got, I've got dynamite and white face. Dynamite and white face, yep. And a bunch of passes. Yes. 
But who could give up the opportunity to shoot Falcone in the face, I suppose? I'll activate Whiteface. He will not move yet. He will shoot his blunderbuss. Mm -hmm. So that is two shots because he... Oh, actually, eight inches. Is that eight inches? Because it's short range. Yes, okay. So it's a short range, it's a firearm, imprecise, hang on, that's probably like minus one to hit or something. If I had to guess. I don't f like 100% it certain it is, but I want to double check. Imprecise. Yes, minus one to hit chance. So what is Falcone's defense? Three. So it's fours then. Yes. I'm rolling too strongly. There, it's on the table. Yeah, but you got to re-roll that one. Why? Because it went off the edge. Yeah, but it's, it rolls as it falls. You've stolen a six from me. All right, he'll move, grab the loot. And yep. I don't remember if I gave him a special to crouch. Hang on. Yes, I did. So he's crouching again, and he used up the movement counter to grab the loot. Yes, so. put it on your on your dude. I'll put it there. And let me just check his rules as well. Oh, he has a rule called cruel that just kills a person if they're knocked out next to him. Okay, if he gets wounded, he has Paranoid, which gives him an extra defense, a bonus defense dice from then on until he dies. But he's not damaged yet, mm. but yeah. Okay, so your activation. Okay, I'm activating Batista. Mm-hmm. Moves over here. This four. All right there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he's lighting up. Deathstroke. Mr. Slade Wilson. Mm -hmm. With his shotgun. Yep. So, one shot because he moved, unless it has a special rule otherwise. It only has a rate of fire of one. Oh, it does, yeah. Well, that's because it's a powerful shotgun. That's a good yep, zombie but, killer um, right there. I'm shooting twice because I have extra attack points from my Inspire. It gives him two shots. So, Wait, two separate assault? attacks. Oh, so you put four in, so then you can fire it twice. Yes. One shot each. Can you fire a ranged weapon twice in one turn? Yes. As far as I know, yes. I'm going to double check that. Shooting. As long as it meets one of the following, attacking model must have at least two to attack. The weapon must have at least one ammo. Attacking model must not be in contact. Model may only perform one ranged attack per activation. Where does it say that? Attack counters below range attack on page 32. Okay. So if you want to reposition that one bonus counter to like defense or something, you can do. Hmm, probably won't be necessary. Oh, I guess because it's going to be a new turn, the only person near him has already went. Okay, what's his defense? His defense is... 5. Uh, that's a miss. That's the part you've just got to get through, and then you're wounded on twos. So because that failed, that's not a graze or scratch, I mean. Alright, uh, so just me, and I've only got dynamite left, huh? Yep. And dynamite is guarding a three-point objective. Hmm. Who do you have left to move now? Just the Mohawk guy, right? Taylor, oh, and him, him standing up, yeah. Alright, he, he'll activate. I was just going to pass, but he's basically going to do the same thing because none of them can get to him. He's just going to stand still, so that's his turn. Okay. <clears throat> Taylor is going to say hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, I roll. Mr. Taylor. So he's doing two stun per punch because he's got reinforced gloves. Never mind, he's not doing anything, he's just what? standing there. Doesn't have anything in attack. 
Oh. I made a mistake while, while pulling stuff. Okay. Well, you, you just go guy, again, it's your turn again. Yeah. The ball stands up. So you spend a movement counter of some variety to do that. Well, any counter, it doesn't have to be a move counter. One of the counters you've assigned has to be spent standing up. Yep. Okay. Just it. Two attacks. Yep, so it's fives against his defense. Okay. <clears throat> Just quickly. Reroll failed hit rolls. Okay, good. That. Ah. Oh, I see you're not the only one, or I'm not the only one to do that. I don't even Where the see. Where hell did it go? Oh, is that it there? Like here? I don't think that is. Is it in the soup? I don't think so. I just dragged and it's not collecting. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, there, yeah. <clears throat> so that you said fives? It was yep. fives you needed, yeah. so Okay, re roll my failed hit rolls. Well, rule is giving him the re roll just so we're all clear. Close combat master. Which is something you bought for him because he doesn't have it on the card. No, he's he's the ball down here. This oh, guy. right, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. There we are. Yes. A five and a six, so that's two hits. I have two defense dice remaining on him. No, I don't. I have three defense dice on him. So what is the attack of the bull? Uh, three. One got through. Oh, you blocked two. Yep. I have two attacks, you spent three dice, you blocked oh, two. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Deathstroke is very powerful. <laughs> Alright, that's the turn over then. Yep, recovery. Oh yeah, so um, do I have any stun to get out of the way? Yes, Joker has one stun on him. Four Amen. plus. Nope. Nope. Bull. Nope. <clears throat> Nothing there. Victory points. Still holding a loot, still holding a thingy, so that's four for me. Yep, and I am just one, holding two, three, the four. ammo, so I get three. One, two, three. So you're on what, nine, ten. Oh yeah, because you got the the riddle. All right, uh, shake the bag. Drop. I'm getting first the activation. First. All right, start plotting your turn. And if we ever want to, I think we'll probably have to end after battle round four, judging by how long it's taking us. We've got an hour. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What to do? What to do? <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Scratching. Oh, right, I need to read up on something real quick. Wait, Joker ended his last turn with a special stow on you, so I'm going to try and roll again, see if he loses that stun right. on him. No, he didn't. <laughs> it's fine. Same as normal. I think I'm done. Yep. Uh, I am not. Wait. Oh, did I add up the... I didn't add the one point for the loot that Whiteface is carrying, did I? I only did the ammo crit. Yep. One more point for you. Okay. I was like, oh, I haven't grabbed that objective yet. Hang on, the objective's gone. 
Okay, um... Take that off. Put that on. And this guy can just do... Let's do like one there. And one there. Alright, I am ready. And let's see, I will activate... Mm -hmm. Oh, decisions, decisions! I will activate Deathstroke. And he is going to use his sword oh on the bull to try and kill him. Vortex! Jesus. So, bull's defense you said was three, I believe? Two. Oh, Christ. Well, also rerolls because of sharp. Or whichever rule it was. So now, defense dice. Against four. Okay. That will be two of them. And my attack value is five. Got him. Oh, wow. Okay. Still two more. Don't forget your crit dice. Yeah. And it's threes. Is that diagonal? No, it is a two. Alright, so that's two blood. Yep, two blood. Uh, that adds up to him being a knocked out, so you get a one victory point. Okay. But not dead. Not dead. He's just knocked out. Yeah. Okay, he is then going to use the one movement counter I gave him on top of his normal movement, so that's four, five, six. So that would be four there, and then there. Oops. Just to hide a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And that's it, your turn, or your activation. Okay. Going after Borgrin. Borg, Borg, yes. Bob gone. It looks like it says on his card because it's cut off slightly. Bob gone. Bob's gone. Okay. Uh, that would be four attacks. Mm hmm. Bob gone's defense is only two. He is tanky, but he's not defensive. And I also have a Master Fighter. Plus one bonus to hit mm -hmm. when making unarmed attacks. So, if I roll a 1, I don't hit, otherwise I hit. Yeah, a 1 is an automatic fail always. Okay, so 3 hits. Uh, I think I have 1 defense dice. I have 1 defense dice. His attack value is... Is 4. Nope. So they all go through. Okay. What did you need? What is his strength? Three pluses, so three. one got don't through. Do have anything to re-roll anything? I don't think sharp so. Sharp or... Uh, just two mm, stuns. His, his cards are sharp. Two stun. Okay. Let's count that up with that. He has eight endurance remaining. Yep. Alright. Joker will activate next, I guess. Uh, first of all, I yes. want to double check some stats. How much HP does Vi Vipera, Vipera have? Four. Jesus, only four. Uh, oh, also, when you were distributing your stats, did you remember that for every two of any type of damage, you lose one, unless they have a rule that negates it? If they have sturdy, uh, they only lose one per three yes. markers. I just I forgot to double check that at the end of the turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot for the ball. Which actually means Joker should have one less, because that did not regenerate, so I will knock one off him as well, because I totally forgot. Not that it matters, the bull is knocked mm. out. Alright, I guess I will use one shot gun on Vipera then. V Vipera, mm -hmm. whatever. So here we go, I'm gonna read it. Oh, actually, I probably should have read closer. Do I have enough stats? Yes, I do, because it costs two attack and two special. That was lucky. Wow. One use only. Instead of attacking, this model may choose an enemy model within eight inches and line of sight, obviously, line of sight. Target automatically receives one hit with damage, blood three, and then also bleed three. I don't know what bleed three means. The ability is considered a ranged weapon with the firearm rules. So all rules, traits, abilities related to it are in effect, like line of sight, ping, 
and abilities that affect firearms such as bulletproof vests and disruptors. So I think it goes straight to me rolling to win because it says hits automatically. So bleed 3 is, uh, if you score critical damage, it gets a bleed, a 3 bleed instead of the normal crit. Oh, okay, but you have to get the crit. So basically it goes straight to the wind roll, which would be a 2+, plus because it's a firearm. Got the 2+, plus. so 3 blood and 3 bleed. Did oh wait, no, I didn't, I didn't roll a crit dice. Do it. Oh, that's going way off. I rolled that way too. Hang on. I caught it. Nice one. It matched. You got the crit. Damn. You killed him. He's he's dead. Okay. Does bleed happen at the moment though, or does bleed happen normally yes. at the end of the turn? Because I've never done bleed before. It's one for casualty and one for knocked the out. The crit damage happens at the same time as the normal damage. Oh. I haven't had many very many weapons. Like Joker's Dropped knife has like crit Oh he had the loot, yeah. I wasn't even thinking of that. Bleed. You score critical damage with this, it suffers that. Oh, yeah, it is just straight up, so you did six damage. Christ. No wonder it's a one-use thing. Two more victory thing. points for you. Oh, I added them in. Yeah. Okay, it's your activation. Okay. Uh, Falcone, Alberto. Yep. Who's totally innocent and isn't some other person in disguise or anything like that. Yep. He's innocent of this crime. He's shooting mm -hmm. at uh, the Joker. Okay. Which and activated you and you didn't spend the crouch. I did not, know. What's his defense? Four. One. I can't block it, so it just goes straight to your damage roll. Uh, yep. Firearm, so two plus. <clears throat> and let's see if I get the critical. Mm -hmm. Probably won't, though. Oof. Well, hang on. You got the critical, but you missed. So the critical still applies, right? Because it matched. Oh, wait, no. Does so, this... one one's is... done from the miss, because just a scratch. Yes, yeah. For sure. And if it's matched, you get knocked down. I want to see if that applies on a, a one, though. For the collateral die. Collateral die. There we are. Uh, collateral damage... The only exception is on a result of a 1, this will still be a failed damage roll and won't knock the target down, see knockdown effect later. Oh, okay. And that was on the collateral damage paragraph. So just one stun we'll Still get the stun, yeah. So he's up to 2 stun and 1 bleed. So he is almost at half health. Because he can't recover any stun at the ends of his turns. Alright, I will activate... Who have I done so far? I've done Deathstroke and Joker, and that's it, right? Deathstroke, Joker... All right, I think I, that's it. Yep. Yeah, um, I guess Bogren will activate, and he will take a swing at Mr. whatever his face is, with four attacks. Yep. Oof. So his defense is... three, I believe it was? Four. Four for him. He's special. Son of a bitch. How'd I get out just exactly what I just put in? Oh, you have to... Okay. What the... Never. Two hits. Defense. Two hits? So oh, wait, you wait. Roll... Yeah, he has... Oh, yeah, I roll my defense. I have three of them. Hand... Wait, handy is re-roll oh, hits, not... Okay, yep. If... Reroll your hits. It's handy hits. You, it was hits. Can. Yeah. It was. Uh, let me quickly search. I'll reroll the two dice anyway and keep the results. Only one changed result, one still. It rolls. Okay, so now it's three. <clears throat> okay. Two defense die. Yeah. Oh, Five and uh, four. his attack is four. Five and four. Two blocked, one goes through. Okay. One and uh, one, and his attack strength is four plus. Jesus, that's very lucky. Knocked down, and how much damage? Knocked down, two blood. Oof. I don't, wait, does the stun apply as well? Like, the one bonus stun from matching as well? No, that's the, that, that will be Oh, it. that's the six. That's the six. Hey, right, just two blood then. So yep. he's one away. Added yeah, them. One away. Alright, your activation then. 
Uh, who haven't I gone with? You have this not guy. gone with Falcone himself, Agent 47, the guy who is not unconscious. And that's it, I believe. So these these three. And I haven't gone yet with White Face and Dynamite. Okay, Batista moves mm -hmm. and shoots at White Face. Okay. Because he finds his name offensive. It is offensive, yeah. I agree. But that's that's a Joker guy for you. Yeah. Okay, uh, where is Batista? There is Batista. Six. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that defi that's hit. definitely a hit then, yeah. So I am I am crouched and I'm getting a ping because of intervening terrain. Yes. So it's a f four th plus. Oh yeah, because a five plus normally for a ping is it? I think ping is always four plus, right? Well, I rolled a three, so pings are normally five plus. I failed. If it's a four plus, I succeeded. Ping roll. What oh, ping? Four Each or more. die that scores four or more represents a successful ping. So the crouch is plus... Wait, does the crouch... No, the, 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 crouch, the, doesn't the, affect. the crouch doesn't affect the ping. And what's the point of crouching, then? It makes you harder to hit with the hit roll. Oh, and because were you applying that when you rolled? I rolled a six, so I hit Oh, yeah, anyways. okay. All right, well, in that case, it goes through. Okay, in that case... I need to do the damage roll of two plus, mm -hmm. right? Yep. With the crit dice. Okay, let me grab the red die over here for the crit. Alright, so no plus. extra stuff, yep. so that's two blood and one stun. Two blood and one stun, yes. He one is on... Take. two HP. There. Is that everything he's doing? Oh yeah, because he moved. I could still use the take cover command for the tailor and the bull. Are you going to? Yes. Okay, so that what does that mean? They gain one dice. In defense or just anything they want? Anything they want. Okay. There we go. Alright, I will... Come on! Well, while you're Where? fiddling with that, I will activate Whiteface. He's just gonna shoot at Falcone again. Mm -hmm. With the only other shot remaining in his blunderbuss. Yes. So, imprecise means it's minus one. And it's, uh... Three defense, so four. One. Okay, um, that's one. And I would say there's no intervening between me and Falcone. Yep. Then it's firearm rule. Yep. So two plus. What the hell? I keep on getting the match. It's a knockdown. Knockdown, two blood, one stun. Uh, I have the Kevlar West, so, <coughs> oh, so one, one blood. Yeah. One blood, one, one stun. One blood, one stun, and knockdown. Hello, look. How's the stream going? Twitch is having some issues today, so barely anyone turned up, and we scared people off by being nerds. That's yes. basically a, a nice recap. Pardon me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think that would be it. All right. Oh, wait. Dynamite. Oh, no, I didn't. I had to, well, either way, he's just standing there, so, yeah. Okay, He's dynamite. done. You need to do... Didn't you... You haven't made the tailor yet, have you? Nope, I haven't moved the tailor yet. Okay. I, I think I did the bull, though. He is unconscious, so he can't do anything. The Batista. Hmm. You've definitely done Shotgun Guy. Oh, wait, no, I don't think you've done Falcone, but he's knocked down now, so he can't. But I don't think I you've moved this guy. The tailor. I don't think you've done him. You would have been able to move Falcone, but you can't now until next turn. I think I've done Alberto. Actually, right? maybe you can step up on the same, or stand back up on the same turn, I'm not sure. Mm. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the knockdown. 
Because if you haven't gone yet, presumably if, as long as you have the movement aim counter rather to spend, you can just stand up. If you were knocked out, that would obviously have to wait, but that's different. Presumably you can... where is it? Where's the den? Uh, may stand up, stand up at the beginning of its activation by spending one action Yeah, counter. okay, so you can still get a turn. So, okay. just... Are you Carmine Farcone? The Dawn? Or, no, sorry, the Roman, not the Dawn. The Roman, yes. Sure, let's stand up. So, spend, spend a count, uh, counter of whatever type. I have done so. Mm -hmm. I shall move him. Yields. <clears throat> How much movement did I, did I give him? Is that a two? That's a two. A two, so eight max. Four over here. Another four over here. Like so. Mm -hmm. Then he's gonna do his uh, revenge ability. Ooh. Giving the tailor another dice. Hmm, so does he just like give it out to a person who's within range or something? Yeah. Okay. That's a very uh, Dawn thing to do, I suppose. All friendly henchmen, though, man. It's all... Oh, wait, then he's, the he's... ball gains another yeah. here. Buffing is kind of his thing. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not very good at it yet. Okay, three attacks. Mm -hmm. Right, right. One, two, three. <coughs> My defense is defense? five. Deathstroke is hard to hurt. Oof. Has he got a reroll of any type? I don't think desensitized or bulletproof vest is going to help in that case. Desensitized just means he doesn't lose dice even if he gets winded. Okay. Which is a rule I, I forgot Bane had. I think everyone is has gone then. So canning up objectives then, so I have the ammo crate for three more, and white face is carrying loot for one more. And that yes, is it. Yes, and I just get one, two, three. Yes. So now, statistically, you must be getting first activation. Yes, okay. And I do. Oh, uh, we have to do recoveries. Yeah, of course. Forgot, so let's see if Joker okay. gets a stun back. Finally, he does. He doesn't. Damien. Bulgrin does. Doesn't. Whiteface. The bull. Does. And that's it. So you've done all your stuns, right? Oh, was that him trying to stand back up? Yeah, that's definitely not. Uh, <laughs> can I can try that again? <clears throat> Oh, by spending special counters. I don't know. Offhand. Start planning out my turn while you're doing that, so I have one less move power. I don't think I can. It sounds right, because knocked out should be hard to get back from. <clears throat> hey, you bought some banana and vanilla fudge. Nice. I'm going to be trying to make uh, lemon fudge next time I do it. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. It's basically that. <clears throat> Open still in combat. White face just has two blood. But he has no ammo left. Uh, hmm. Dynamite! You are gonna do nothing. Come on, Vice President! <clears throat> okay, I'm prepared. Right, look as well. Stun 
that's done. He's knocked out. Okay, I'm done. Alright, well, it's your first activation, so your choice. Uh, Damien stands up. Yeah. Three attacks against the big guy. Okay. His defense is only two. And I get plus one from my thingy, so... <clears throat> so again, only ones are failures. Thank you for the bits, mostly dead zombie. Three hits. Okay, I have two defense dice. Ooh. So your attack strength is... Four, four it was, I believe, yeah. I blocked one. So okay, was so two of two them go through. through. And then you're rolling his attack strength, which is whatever it is. Where is he? Three plus. So one, but you got the knockdown. Yes. I'm going to borrow that knockdown. Do how much damage was it? Two stun. Two more stun. So poor old Bogrin. Two stun, so he's up to three stun total. But he is sturdy, so only now will he start losing counters. Okay, um, I will activate. Yep. Who, who will I activate? Hmm. Alright, let's get a little bit ballsy with it then and activate Deathstroke. So he's going to use up one movement counter. Mm-hmm. Which is six. He is an acrobat, so he can jump over people. Yes. Actually, I was going to use his, the grapple I bought him, but he doesn't need to if he can just hop up stuff. I can just use all the movement counters and get straight to Falcone, which is who I want to go after. Alright, do it. So... But, uh, he only has two attack dice this time, so I'm going to use the bow staff, not the sword, which means he's hitting with three because he has combo bow staff. Yep. So, Falcone's defense. He has a defense of three. Threes, and also he has handy on his bow staff, so rerolls. Damn. So, two go through. Two. Okay, <clears throat> defense dice. I'm mm -hmm. spending a three of them. Three of them, alright. So you have to beat my attack strength, which is five. He's basically got the same stat line as Batman does. So two I hits think... got through. So then it is threes. So nothing on the collateral dice and only one hit, so that's two stun. Okay. Are you doing a get down, Mr. President stun? <laughs> I mean, that's what they are there for. Uh -huh. So that means Batista takes two stun. You don't have to like roll a two plus or anything for nope, a case style? Alright. As far as I know, it's just... But I can quickly type a bodyguard up here. Yeah, this model takes the hit and Yeah, set. as long as he's within two inches, yep. Yeah. Okay, two stun on him, and do your activation. Batista, I think. Does he still have ammo? He shot once, he shot twice. He is shot and twice. this would be the final shot. Mm -hmm. He shoots at Deathstroke. Okay. Because Wait, you can't shoot him point blank. I think you have to move. I'm... Batista is oh, wait, point Batista. blank with him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, defense. Five. God damn it. <laughs> Nothing. You get the luck I get when we play tabletop similar 40k. Uh, my activation then? Yes. Okay. I will activate. We're gonna get a chance to, yeah. We're gonna get a chance to see how. Oh wait, there's a ladder there. Never mind. I was gonna do like a jump move, but there's a ladder. I want to be. I mean, Bogren. as long as you have enough movement to go straight down. Well, you can do like a hop, but I think there's a chance you can like break your ankle or something. It's just three inches down. You would just spend the three movement to get down. Mm, okay. Get well, either way, I'm gonna do. Bogren first. Spend a movement counter. Well, spend an attack counter rather to stand up, so he's no longer knocked down. And he'll put his three smacks into 
the man who is next to him. Yep. So his defense was four. Yes. Okay, and he did not have handy, right? He does not have Yeah, handy. I think he has. He does have handy. And he so has heavy. we rolled that too. And heavy was plus one strength, if I recall correctly. Four yes. attacks. Four, roll your damage. Oh, you have no defense. Yep. I'm, I'm heavily wounded. Oh, well, that's uh, this is probably going to be his end then. Yes. So his attack is normally four plus, but the plus one strength would make it three, so that's three yep. successful hits, so he's definitely dead. Yes. That is six blood. That gives you three victory points because he's a free agent. Was he previously knocked out? No, that's the three you get for knocking him out, but he doesn't give any own kill. Oh yeah, because he has the he extra, has the immortal. Yep, yep, yep. Which gives you three okay, victory have, points if you get them. I did. Your turn, but your activation. I think the results are pretty clear at this point, but I'll continue on. You can continue on for 20 more minutes. That would be ideal. Hmm. Although, if you don't mind some backseat controlling, Dynamite is not very powerful, so if you could get someone to a surgrating and pop up behind him, you could stop me getting three victory points a turn, whereas you're still getting three victory points a turn. And there's only two turns left, so it might make a difference. Uh, <coughs> if I move guys up off here, you would contest this one. But you have people over here. Oh, you didn't buy a grapple for anyone, did you? Yep, they are not close to sewer grating. Well, if you kill Whiteface, he's holding loot. So killing him would stop me getting one a turn. Knocking him out would get one. Killing him would get another one, so that's a difference of three. I mean, I can give it a shot, but it's not very likely. How much move is on this guy here? You can get around behind him. He doesn't have a gun anymore. Uh, Taylor? Uh, yeah, he can get there. No problem. <clears throat> I think. Well, you might want to do Falcone first before Joker activates. I don't... I don't know. Actually, how much movement do I put to him? Two. And I need... Th Three inches to get down, so it'd be five. It did already to... activate Deathstroke, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm. That's not enough. Uh, did I do Batista? Yes, I did Batista. I have seen via like other people who do live action battle reports saying that Deathstroke is just ridiculously overpowered. Wow, power gaming on me, eh? I'm doing his two buff abilities, giving Taylor two movement dice. Mm -hmm. You activate. Wait, isn't he moving? No, I, I moved Falcone. Oh, right, right. Into his buffs. Okay, well, I've sadly discovered that three inches to get down off the building means the Joker can't reach Falcone. So that kind of ruined That's my plan shame. there. I guess he will use his... Well, he could go for the loot objective. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So three to get down... And then one to pick one up. One more to get over, and then one movement. Yep. And there. he has nothing in special, so he can't crouch. So that that is that's his activation. What's his defense again? Joker's is uh, only four, four, and I have one dice in it. Do you still have shots left in? Alberto's pacifier yes, he's gun. Been fondling ammo crates. Oh, that's right, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I guess three shots on the Joker then. May as well. He's standing right there. Come on, give me my three dice. So Joker's defense is four. Two. Two hits. Can't defend, so it goes straight to wounded. It's two pluses. Alright, that's a knockdown, knockdown and two loads of damage. I'll two bleed, that. two stun. Borrow that. So he has two HP remaining. I so now I will activate them. The ammo crate and crouch. Oh, okay, yeah. I will activate Whiteface and I will use his two movement counters, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight movement. 
you're getting that heck out of dodge. I am indeed, yes. So that is four to there and four to there. Can one character hold multiple loot? I don't think I can't pick so. it up this turn anyway, but I am curious if that's a thing. I'm going to have to check. Oh wait, loot causes you to move slowly. Oh, you're right. You've you been forgetting it. that. So he should Until actually Until now, be... no one with loot has moved. That's true, actually. Yeah. Well, either way, that means two inches off of his maximum move, because I couldn't have used a counter for that, so I will put him there. As long as that's two inches away. Yeah. Okay, your activation. Yes. He's going after Deathstroke. Can't keep up with the other guy, so that's my only option. Mm. Let's just get this over with. Nope. Oh, hey! I hit. Okay. Uh, I don't have... Did I use... Have you already attacked Deathstroke? I don't remember if I used up my defense. I don't think I did. You shot at... Oh, you shot at him, which doesn't do defense dice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, two defense dice then. His attack value is... Two. One hit got through. Oh, you blocked. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. So roll for... That's it. No, no. don't. Wait, you... No, you hit with two, didn't you? Nope. Oh. Never mind then. Uh, Dynamite is my last person to go. I guess I'll just... He's standing there. Yep. And then you have got... No one. Because the bill was Locked unconscious. Up. That's yeah. right. Okay, end of turn recovery, see if he, he does, right? Yep. Alright, oh, he yep. is awake. Yep. Which means he can try to regain some, some stun. Uh, I will see if Joker recovers a stun. He does. Bogrin. Does it. Does. And that is it for stun. Yes. So as far as objectives then... Three for me, that's it. Uh, three for me, and then two more for the two loot. One with Whiteface, one with Joker. Yes. And you already did your recover from Knockout. Bag of Holding, 50-50 chance. You get first activation. Wait, yeah, okay. you, you do. Plan accordingly. Yep, and remember, unless you have the sturdy rule, it's one less counter per two markers. If you have sturdy, it's one less marker per three. That's pretty much just going to be the same turn he's done every other turn. You've got much less. You've, you've got two less markers, so you've got six to deal with. Oh, no, wait, no, I can't dump that. Uh, remember also if you're moving with loot. Although, no, you don't have any, so it's fine. But he does. Okay, that's all he can do because of his wounds. And he'll do... That. Okay. Oh, I haven't done Deathstroke yet, hang on. <clears throat> Do you have anyone over there that still has a gun with ammunition? No. Okay, just check. The only one that can still shoot is a certain killer. Of no particular note, yes, I know. Yes. Okay, let's do like three and four, five, six, seven. Okay, yep. Ready? Who are you activating? Uh, my only chance that anything good, <laughs> Alberto. Alberto to kill the Joker, yep, figured. Yes, yes. Defense of four, I, I think. Yep. Wow. Alright. Three hits. Do they go straight to wins? Two pluses plus a collateral die. Yep. So you most certainly killed him. I mean, one extra one extra. No, it's one extra stun. Uh, one extra stun. Plus however much he did. 
two bleed, one uh, two stun. So that would be a total of two bleed, three stun, right? Two bleed, yes. three stun. All right, so he's unconscious then, because that would be ten in total. So he is knocked out, which does give points. For a leader, how many do I get for a knockout for a leader? I would guess four, but let's double check. I think four. For knocking out a leader, it is indeed four. Okay. So add your four. Can I borrow that knocked out? One, two, three, four. Alright. I will activate and I will activate Deathstroke. He's just going to go all or nothing, hop over him with his acrobat skill and try and kill for Kony. Hmm, but he can pass off wounds, though, is the thing. Eh, yeah, we'll still try and cut someone up. We'll use four attacks with a sword. Mm -hmm. But it goes against Falcone's stats, so... His defense. Uh, three. Okay, so they all hit. Defense. Uh, yes. I shall roll three die. You have to beat a five. Two of them did. Oh, nice. Okay. So two are negated entirely. Get out of here, get out of here. So these are sharp, so I can reroll filled wounds, and it's three pluses. But no need, so that is four blood. Four blood. Four blood. Have I accidentally murdered the poor bull while going after your leader? No, only the tailor and Batista bodyguards. Oh. Um, two blood on the not tailor. Not enough to kill him, though. One on the Falcona, one on. Batista. Can you distribute the wounds like that? Yes. But you're not even allowed to do that in 40k. Bodyguard. A friendly model is within. With, oh, it's within two inches of a model with this. It's hit by an attack of any kind, the model takes the hit instead. I'm pretty sure one person has to take the full damage. Are you sure? But it's it's a get dead, Mr. President. So they have to take the full hit. It's like a model in 40k. You don't like split the wounds. You kill a model, then the next model takes damage until they're dead. Can any of them take the hit and not die? He can. He's got five HP. Oh wait, no. Is he in range? He should be. If he's in range, just let him take the hit because he lives on one health. No, he's not in range. <clears throat> uh, let's say the tailor dies. Which is that guy. That gives you two victory points. He only has four HP. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Your activation. Try and kill Deathstroke. I cannot. Uh, you might as well. What? He, wait, no, he has the thing that counters being outnumbered properly. Martial artist or whatever it's called. Yeah, he does. Uh, there's not much I can do. No, I feel like this would have been very, very different had he not been there going up that side. Like, if I just had a few clowns, it would have been much more close. Or even Harley Quinn, like she's fast, but she's not nearly as tough. Okay, let's see what would happen if I... These guys can't really do anything, can't harm mm -hmm. Deathstroke in any way or form, mm -hmm. can't catch up to this guy. Whatever I do over here, this guy activates, contests this. This he ends is, up yep. giving you five more victory points. Mm -hmm. I stay at 20. I can't catch up. I don't think you can, Wait. no. Even if Alberto lives and kills your leader next turn, that would only give like three Oh wait, there, or there's the bonus objectives for the scenario though, hang on. What are they? Uh, let's see. If the opponent's boss is KO, or casualty, when the game ends, you get three victory points. So you're getting that. Mm -hmm. Two victory points to any player if when the game ends, the combined reputation value of the casualties from the opponent's crew is equal to or more than 50% of total reputation. Yep. That's that's a given. So that would be two victory points to me. So you still get plus one, but that's obviously not enough to cover the, the deficit. But so we can, do, we can call it the there. Final round, or... I could get 
three from the bonus trade for killing your <laughs> boss. Another two from killing your boss. No, you won't get the three. bonus. Joker has a moral. You'll get the scenario bonus, but not the bonus for okay, killing. Okay, then I get the three from the assassin, yeah. three from the scenario. Yeah. That's six. I, I can't catch up no matter what no, I do. There is also I'm, a chance death, Deathstroke would kill Falcone next turn. I still have one goon to die for <laughs> For hired goons. Yeah, okay, we can call that hired one. Hired goons? Hired goons. Deathstroke is very, very powerful, but he is a free agent, so if you wanted to bring Deathstroke, you could. Despite he that, is, has to, probably. He is scary. He's, he's a bit tough. No, I just threw his list together. I don't plan to use him every single time. I've got the model, but it's not painted yet, so I just wanted to use something I didn't have done yet. That was fun, though. I enjoyed it.